The Stoa tree is super simple and I'm sharing my build process as more of an inspirational how-to rather than exact instructions. My approach was to make a portable way to check a bow's draw weight and tiller. That way I can work nearly anywhere on a bow and have it available for use. So first I'm cutting a section of board that will be the main body of the tree itself. Thanks again to my brother Jake for letting me use the lumber. If you want to see it being milled, that video is linked below and on screen. Now I'll cut a couple of shorter pieces that are the same width, one of which is a couple inches longer than the other. These pieces will be used to hold or cradle the bow to the main board. I'm notching one of them to give plenty of room for various sizes of bow handle, and what I'm referring to will be more evident in a moment. With both pieces cut and the front one notched, I can fasten them to the long board. Then you can see that I marked one inch increments by measuring from the surface where bows will rest. These measurements will depend on what draw lengths you intend to work with, but I just put marks from 20 inches to 30 inches. Oh, and there needs to be some sort of bearing surface for your draw cord. I just used a 1200 pound D-ring I had in my spare parts box, adding it in a ways below my draw length marks. And that's it. That's the entire build. You'll probably want some sort of scale for measurements. I'll link the one I'm using below, but anything accurate and able to hook into your rope will do. You may also want ratchet straps if you intend it to be portable and mount universally. Cheap ones work great because you don't need a ton of structural integrity in the strap like with other applications. Then you can always have pre-drilled holes in the tiller tree for wall mounting as well. As you can see, the setup is extremely simple but works great. There are a ton of ways you can make one of these and customize it to your exact needs. It took very little effort and time to make this and is a huge improvement over my previous tiller tree setup. Something I do highly recommend is having a slightly larger cordage or a couple strands of 550 paracord with a wood handle on the end. This will make pulling heavy poundage bows easier and it will be much kinder to your hands. I can't wait to start using this guy on some bow builds and I hope to see you all back here for those. Make sure you subscribe so you won't miss them. Thanks so much for watching everyone. See you again soon.